Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to do an exercise that um, is pretty useful. All right, it's second conversion. So let's think for a second. We have to think about how the seconds go. Everybody knows 60 seconds in a minute, then 60 minutes in an hour. Well, that gets pretty big pretty fast. So 60 times 60, right? So how many seconds are in an hour? 3,600. So that's going to be important. And we're going to use, um, if you haven't seen Modulo, you need to watch that because uh, we're going to use that. And I can't remember if we've done um, floor division. And that is a very good technique to just round down a number. So, all right, let's say, let's look at this. Um, three divided by two, one and a half. Three floor division by two, one. It's gonna round down, always. Always, whole number, whole number. It will not round up, okay. So that's important. So let's just get going. All right, take in X. Now, when I first did this, this took me a little while to really wrap my head around it. So we have a lot of math here to do. So we gotta get it to print out later, or we could do the return. But let, let's just uh, let's just let's just do a printout. Um, so Let's see. Now, let's use something crazy. All right. Let's show you what I did. So, all right, we're gonna work this backwards. So we want one day. So we just found out that 3,600 is an hour, 24 hours. So, all right, 3,600 times 24 we want one day then let's do four hours fifty five minutes and eight seconds so all right let me go what I'm doing let's go through this I got a plus sign. Let's redo this. All right. Plus, let's see if this gets better. That's better. So, all right, let's go through this one step at a time. We probably need to commit this to memory. So, or I got, so, all right, that's, that's how many seconds are in a day. So, all right, what I did here is I found out how many seconds were in a day added that to the four hours, seconds in four hours, seconds in 55 minutes, and then added eight. So this is important because that's gonna be one, four, four hours, 55 minutes, and eight seconds. So when we build our function, because we're gonna test it with this, so we know what the outcome should be. So if we have parentheses, because we're gonna have to use parentheses, because uh, order of operation, PEMDAS, if anybody remembers their math. Uh, ex uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, and then uh, addition and subtraction, PEMDAS. All right, so in Python has the same rules. So all right, now, so let's just, Let's just get started. All right, so we want to test first if it has any days, right? So we're going to do just, we're gonna keep this real simple. D, uh, 80, And I'll walk you through the logic here. So, all right. 
I'm going to take this number, well, one. Let's just start here with a day. What should the answer be? should be one, right? One. So now watch this. This is, this is what we're going to, this is our test that we're going to use. And 86, 400. One day, right? Because it's one day, four hours, 55 minutes, and eight seconds. Okay. So now this is where, now this is where you got to pay attention, put your thinking cap on, and just, just go through the steps. Let's just go through the steps. So what's next? Hours. Now, modulo. This is where we're going to use this, and you have to get creative. So I'll do a quick reminder of what modulo does. It's a remainder. So everybody look right here. Is this all of this? Because basically this is basically if you really get fancy, this is division and we got a whole number, but we also want to subtract this. Well we could do clunky real ugly clunky math. But Python already does has this little feature in for us. Remainder. Modulo is the remainder to remind you. And if you haven't seen that, go watch that video because we're not going to dig into it. So, hours. PEMDAS. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. I just did it. So, let's just do our test and see if I know what I'm talking about. And while we're doing floor division because we want to know how many hours, right? So, all right, let's do it. So we want to find our remainder, get that off, get that to be what is left we're just going to work our way down. So a, the uh, hours in a day is 86. Four. Then we're going to do floor division for our hours, right? Okay. Yeah, I did a little shortcut. So let's just get our x here. And we want it to be this. And we'll we'll go incre we'll increment through this and test it. So x. Make sure we're not off too bad. So x modulo six four four floor division. Look at that four. So all right. I will do this all and then we'll go through it. So what's next? M. Now, this is the one that you don't have to get too fancy. So what is it? All we have to do is know what's left over, right? So it's just how many minutes. This is the first time I did this, it just didn't seem right. But let's check it. Don't forget your parentheses. PEMDAS, you're going to get this thing all jacked up. Here, let's just show you. Because first time I did this, uh, Python was just going across because this is a little bit funky. Oh, that one did work. Maybe I did it on the hours. But see, there's our 55. So, all right. This is what I. This is how I want you to think about it. This is pulling out all the hours. This is what stumped me when I was first coming up with this. I didn't think it was going to be this clean and clear. So you might say, why don't we have to? We had two variables in front of it. Why don't we have to get rid of it? Because we don't care. This got this cleans out all the hours because we're already splitting it here. All you have to do is worry about the unit in front of it. The unit in front of it because you're going down a level. So as long as you're 
accounting for it. You're not having to subtract it because we're we know what's left. So you should be able to surmise what this is. You got it. So what is it? So what do we do? Whatever our floor is. Because again, we've accounted for all the minutes. So whatever's left, and we'll just do the parentheses to be consistent. Whatever's left is the seconds because it's already been popped into because we've already accounted for all the minutes. All the, what? Hundreds, tens of minutes, tens of minutes. It wouldn't be hundreds of minutes, it's thousands of hours, thousands of seconds, sorry. So now, I can't remember if I've done a print, but maybe I'll do a print, but I will do this slowly, but um, I will do a more in-depth uh, print video for all the little choices and formats. So all right, this is gonna be, these are placeholders. I think I did a video on it, but we will. And this is going to be a little choppy, and I'm going to show you how to update it. So what? That's um, we had four variables. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Close out the string. Dot format. Now we got to put in. Our variables and in the order but you can get fancy I'll do that on the other video H in seconds now do I have enough parentheses nope because it only shaded out that so I need another one okay let's run this see how well I did oops what I forget and what number did we want to use this thing right here right copy Paste, save and run. Okay, that's okay, but this isn't really that great. So let me let me show you a way to make this more standardized. And this is called padding. We'll do this one at a time. Slowly. We'll do it slowly. Alright. So this says I want is a digit and I want two spaces. So watch this. Oops, and I forgot where that I have to put where I want the spaces to go. I want the spaces to go there. It's not exactly what I really want. I'd really like a zero. So pad two, put a zero in front of it. Pretty nifty. Well, that's not, there's no legend, is there? So let's do this. Let's just do this. Minute, minute. Oops, that's not right. Hour, hour. Minute, minute. Second, second. What do you think about that? You think that looked nice? Got a nice little legend here. So, this is how you can do second conversion using modulo and floor division and a touch on some very cool formatting. All right, so please leave your comments below. Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hope you guys are getting something out of this. Uh, and thank you very much and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.